Hey guys, it's April. And Jason. We are back at it again here with you, trying to give you as many tips and tricks as possible so that you can grow on your own photo journey. That's right. So if you're a mom talk, dad talk, or just a regular photo old talk. photo talk, this <laughs> channel's for you, baby. Okay, but before we go on to white balancing like a boss, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm, we are going to stop you right now and please go download the free guide. Yes, we have please this for do, you. please do. We're it's a PDF, PDF that helps you with your consistency in lighting yes. and it will definitely help you on your photography journey. Next. What is white balance? What Coming is right back white at it. balance? White balance is exactly what it sounds like. It's balancing the color temperature inside your camera so that when you're taking the photos, it is going to produce a, an image that hopefully is what you wanted as far as warmth or cool goes. And so we're gonna just share with you a few different ways that you can do that in your camera. Yeah, the first so one. way one is auto white balance. We are not opposed to auto white balance. However, that is more of a beginner trick to getting your white right balance set correctly. So what auto white balance is, is a setting inside of your camera, whether it's a DSLR or just your regular old box camera, regardless, that you can toggle on and off and it will balance the lighting in your picture. And this is great for beginners. Like if you just want to not think about your colors, we yes. sh I shot on cloudy for the longest time. Right. Now the problem with that is I got super warm images even when I didn't want them. <laughs> so cloudy will warm an image up yes. because it assumes that it is a cloudy day. That is another yes. setting yes. as opposed to auto white balance. Yes. So back to auto white balance. Unless you were going to Well, I was just saying, maybe think of it as like a preset uh, inside your camera. Oh, I see where you're going. That yeah. is set for you. It assumes what you're needing, but it yes. may not be the exact setting that yes. you're looking at through your own eyes. So if it's a cloudy day outside, it'll pick up on that and then try and balance the colors in your camera accordingly. Vice versa, yeah. if it's a warm day, it'll do the opposite. That being said, it does take away some of your creative rights as mm -hmm. a photographer. Yeah. So we're big fans of staying away from it, or excuse me, once you're a little bit past that, um, moving on to either Calvin, Kelvin, Calvin, Calvin, Kel Kelvin, or Expo. And so way, Kelvin. way number two to set your white balance is gonna be Kelvin, and the Kelvin scale will walk you through both of these, Expo and Kelvin, shortly. But the Kelvin scale is pretty easy to use. The idea is, Go into your white balance under your camera settings, and then if it is a cloudy or cooler day outside, you can warm up the white balance by just clicking, toggling mm -hmm. up on the Kelvin scale. I think it goes up to like, it goes up high. It's like 10,000, yes. right? Yes, so maybe, I, I we don't use Kelvin, so, but regardless, yeah. that is how you do that. It's not that difficult though, I can't tell you that. And then if it is a warmer day outside, sunny, um, just cool it down by going lower on the Kelvin scale. Yeah, so like a room like this, I think you have the camera set here to what? Yeah, about? for video, I do use Kelvin, and I think it's at 4,000 right now. So, and if you, you probably don't know this because we have it's artificial cool lighting <laughs> it, it outside, but it is because it's darker outside, it actually is pretty cool in here. Yeah, the reason why <laughs> white balance is so important is because later on in post-processing, sometimes it's actually impossible to fix the colors, especially if it was yes. like a really, really beautiful sunset and you've got a lot of orange coming through your lens, you maybe went a little too warm mm -hmm. or whatever, you wanna make sure you nail it as you are shooting so that later you're not editing a bunch of wonky colors. Cause that mm -hmm. takes too long. Which moves us on to our favorite tool for Reason white balance. Reason number three, this guy. way number three, yes. is our favorite guy. And this is, let's see if it'll The Expo this. Disc. Expo. And what is the Expo Disc? The Expo Disc is basically setting your camera for you. Um, the reason why we love using this is because it takes all the guesswork out. Yes. If you're anything like me, while you're on a session, you don't really want to think about math and numbers and cool and warmth and, uh -huh. and figuring all that it's out. It's true. There's a lot going on during a session. Yeah. You don't want to think about all so that. So our stuff. mentors introduced us to this mm -hmm. and it has become our best friend and we actually wear it around our neck on wedding days mm -hmm. and it looks super cool as well. I like to pretend I'm a doctor or it works as a monocle, monopoly guy. Yeah, anyways, um, but it also builds confidence in our clients. Yes, so it does. the minute we, um, we, we'll show you in a minute actually uh, how you actually set this Correct. in your camera. It, it, it may seem intimidating at first and it took us a while actually to learn how to do it, but we're gonna teach you how to do it. Yes. Um, but the minute you snap the picture, your camera is now set 
yes. to the exact location and what it looks like yes. as you are looking at it. So if it's a warm day mm -hmm. and you're seeing a lot of like pretty greens, this is gonna get it all right. And it's gonna make it look like a professional picture so yes. it builds so much confidence in your client. What we love to do, set the white balance, snack the first picture of the day with our client yeah. and it is awesome when April shows them the back of the camera and just their faces oh. are like, they light that's up. me and I love hearing them say, that looks edited yes. already. And then like the husband, that looks edited, that, <laughs> babe, babe, that looks, it's incredible. Yeah. And then the confidence boost for the rest of the session, someone that may have been a little bit intimidated by the camera, all of a sudden it's like, work it girl, because oh, yeah. they are working it. Totally, there's so many times where I've had really, really shy people come in, they're like, I just want like 10 minutes and then I'll be done. And I'm like, okay. And you know, I've set my white balance with the mm -hmm. expo disc, show them the back of the camera and they're always warmed up after that. I'm like, you know what? I think I can keep going for a little bit. So not only is it a huge confidence booster for your clients, mm -hmm. it's also a huge time saver for you later, especially you photographers that are spending hours trying to figure out colors. Uh, this, like he said before, it pretty much edited, edit, edits, <laughs> edits, <laughs> edits, <laughs> edits, it edits the photo before yeah. you even take it into Lightroom. So it so. saves you hours post process. We are gonna show you how to do all of these um, different settings in your camera. If you just hang on one second, we'll come back and show you the back of the camera. Let's do it. Okay guys, I have my camera here and Jason's gonna walk you through how we would set the camera in auto white balance, Kelvin, and then finally the expo disc. So hang with us, okay? You guys are gonna see my fingers only. <laughs> I'm show you the back of the All camera. All right, let's turn this bad boy on. Teamwork. So the first thing you're gonna do to set your auto white balance is click menu. You're, I'm already on the green screen and I have white balance set as my favorite. I'm pretty sure normally it is going to be under this guy here. Either way, you'll find it. I'm not gonna try and toggle you through where it is normally. Yeah. Um, I've set it on my favorite screen. So, but you're going to click white balance and then you are going to click and I find my fat fingers will get there. I apologize. You're going to click white balance. Get there, get there, get there, get there. Finally, then you are going to click the AWB. So you're going to click white balance. Then you're going to click the AWB, which stands for auto white balance. Then you're going to click OK. And then this particular camera is set to auto white balance. So whether you're indoors or outdoors, it will sense and balance accordingly. Now for Kelvin, you're going to go back to where you were before. And first time is a charm. Thank the Lord. Then you're going to click the K, which stands for Kelvin. And then as you can see here, it's at 6300 in this particular camera. Warmer, toggle up. So now I'm at 7000. That's obviously warmer. 6,000, obviously colder. Sunny, sunny day outside, maybe you want to be at 3,000 to 4,000. Cool, cool day outside, maybe you want to be at six or 7,000. We don't use this all very often for pictures because we like the Expo Disc, which is what I'm about to talk about next. So how, April, can you show us how to set the Expo Disc? Oh, first things first. To set the Expo Disc, step number one is you're going to go to white Pinball. balance. White balance. Well, first time was on a trend. Okay, you're gonna find the pinball machine, which is these, the, they got the little bumpers there. I think that's what they used to call them. And your little pinball, right? You're gonna click OK. And that is set to custom white balance. Then you are going to use your expo disc. Yes. So once it's set to the auto white balance, all you have to do is take the white side. There's two different sides. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a white side and, and there's a kind of a honeycomb gray side. So you're gonna take the white side Put it over your lens, and normally what you want to do is stand where your client is facing and also stand the same direction that they're facing. Take a picture, you're going to get a gray screen or maybe a light blue screen, and all you have to do is go back to that. I got it. Here you yeah. go. Let's so you're going to go back it. to custom white balance, which is under your menu. It says no card and camera. Don't worry. Also, this would be about what the picture, well, that's yeah. going to be, that's yeah, what it's the picture normally gray. It is this gray because it is darker in this room. So it's actually going to add a lot of white to this picture because of that fact. Menu, and then you're going to go to custom white balance. This is the second thing under white balance. Then you're going to click that particular picture and click OK. Then it is set your white balance correctly. And the only thing you need to know is when you move to a different location, if it is colder, warmer, you're going to have to re-expo. Yeah, you're going to reset it every 15 minutes before sunset and then you're good to go. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching. Bye, Bye y'all.